Hey, good morning. Chuck here at Apple Drains. Today we're putting in some downspout drains off of this house. We're going to come down along this wall, pick up the second downspout, and continue on out there by the fence. Water's getting in this crawl space coming from these downspouts and from the yard. Okay, so we've got our trench pretty much completed, as you can see, coming off of the downspout, turns. We're going to take our excess soil and actually mound it up here along the side to help this water flow away from the system. We'll tie in that downspout and then it just runs right out to the back. <clears throat> We're going to put a catch basin right here to help catch some of this water that's coming down this hill right into our catch basin about right here. Okay, so. We've added a catch basin. We decided to move it down the hill here because this is a low spot coming down the hill up there. Water will drop into here and maybe it'll help it from coming around this corner. You can see our downspouts hooked up all the way down, covering it up. And it's just gonna discharge right out here at the end of the yard. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains. You know, this is a job that a homeowner could do themselves. It only took us a couple of hours with two guys. Of course, we do have a really great trencher, but, you know, basically, you can see this water that comes down this hill, and it comes right up into their crawl space. And, of course, the crawl space has been getting wet. So what we've done is we've added downspout drains, one there, one at the front, with a catch basin here on the hill to pick up the water as it comes down, and it discharges out by the fence. We took our excess, put it up here against the crawl space and graded it away so that water has to flow away from this foundation and into the catch basin. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it.